Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado, and we appreciate you tuning in this morning. Behind me is a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye two horse bumper pull. And this is a warm blood setup. So if you follow us, keep track of our inventory, you'll know we carry a lot of these Logan Bullseyes. They've been really good sellers for us. It's a really good package at a great price point for you. When we're looking at these Logans, we're dealing with a galvanized steel frame with aluminum body. <clears throat> so why that's important is because it's, we're not dealing with black steel. Black steel is going to rust on you. This galvanized steel, the way they actually manufacture it is going to help from basically having those rust issues down the road. If you buy this trailer, you have a lifetime corrosion warranty with you being the first owner of these Logans. So that's a really good selling point for as far as the price point. And when you're really comparing with the competition, based on that, you're going to see in this price point similar uh, options. Uh, that's the one thing we're going to definitely beat them on. The other thing is the warranty. So it's an eight-year structure warranty with two years of hardware. So that's bumper to hitch. So we have a lifetime corrosion warranty, eight-year structure, and two-year bumper to hitch warranty where a lot of the other manufacturers in this kind of price point where this trailer is really going to compete against are going to offer you a one to five-year limited warranty. So really stand behind the product as far as the warranty is concerned. But on these warm blood models, you know, we see it more and more in today's market. People want extra tall trailers for these bigger horses. Now this one's a straight load setup. So again, in, our, in most of our bullseyes that we carry in inventory, you're gonna see a lot more two and three horse slant bumper poles, and then some three and four horse goosenecks with different tack options. But again, these bullseyes kind of have all the similar uh, options and features that you're going to see. The other thing is, is we have that that uh, galvanized steel frame, but then they finish it off in the aluminum body. I think there's two things that come into play there. One is it gives it a cleaner, finished aluminum trailer look to it, but then we also lighten it up by not having all steel on this trailer. So let's kind of walk through this. I'll kind of show you some of the, the standard options on these. Uh, again, a really good package. Uh, as far as how they're optioned, but also a great, pri great price point. Up here at the bumper pull hitch, nothing too crazy. We have a manual hand crank jack. We have a 2 and 5 sixteenths hitch. So that coupler is a 2 and 5 sixteenths. One thing we want to look at on these bumper pulls, depending on what you're pulling with, is just like on our goosenecks, we want these trailers to run level. So when you come to pick the trailer up, we might look at maybe some different drop options. I know B&W, uh, I actually have one of my personal truck. It's, a, it's an adjustable, you can do five and seven inch adjustable drop hitches on those. Those are really great because depending on what trailer I hook onto, I can adjust that. If I'd back up to this trailer, I'd probably actually have to lower it because uh, on my bumper pull that I haul at home, that one's actually raised a little bit. So that's the main thing is you, you've paid for two axles. We want this trailer to run level with equal weight distribution. So we want it running level. So adjusting that's gonna come into play. But again, a two and five sixteenths. If you look, the other thing too that Logan does is they use this vortex lining. It's like a bed liner. And they incorporate it throughout the trailer. I'll point it out as we're going along here. But you see it up here in this bumper pull hitch. It's really strong and durable. Uh, they use it on their, on their goosenecks as well. On the gooseneck drop walls, they get beat up pretty good by rocks. You've got this diamond plate on the lower part of this trailer as far as the nose is concerned to help with those rocks and, and road to be, debris as it, as it does shoot back from your tow vehicle. <clears throat> now with it being a two horse straight load setup, on the front tack wall it's going to be a straight wall on it. So we've got a made at the factory door, that's one thing I want you to, to keep in mind. I'll show you this a little bit more when we finish up in this tack room, I'll show you that actual door. But you can step into this front tack room here, and we've got quite a few things in this trailer. One of the first things on the opposite wall from the door is our saddle rack. So it's got a post on the wall. Since it's a two horse, you get standard two pads. You can go in and add a, a third and fourth. There is the locations for that, or you can adjust these where you'd like them. Directly above that's an LED light. So we have one facing the door and one above the door. So you get plenty of light coverage in this front tack room. You've got carpet behind the bridle hooks. That's really important so we're not having tack swing against the wall, creating a lot of noise for the horses on the other side, but also 
doing damage to that. That carpet will protect those items. And then we've got a four tier blanket pull rack against the door. It swings as well, but real easy to access. Now, one thing that we also go in and add, we like doing is corner water tanks. It's real simple. We can always add corner water tanks to trailers after the fact. Our parts service department can help you out with those type of items. But we've gone into majority of our, <coughs> excuse me, inventory and gone in and put these corner water tanks because it's great to be able to carry water on board with you, whether it's traffic, maybe going to a trailhead, maybe it's going to an event, you don't have water right there at the trailer or you're a long ways away from the hydrant or you're waiting to check in or you're in traffic and boy, I can hop back there, grab some water, it's just gravity feed, so no pump or anything like that is needed on this. And then behind me, and behind it on the other side of the nose here is the spare tire location. And I want you also notice that is an aluminum wheel that's gonna match the aluminum wheels on the ground. Some manufacturers will go in and actually do aluminum four on the floor on the ground and then put a steel wheel in here but you get that that additional fifth aluminum wheel on there for the spare and then on the tack door you get a brush tray just to kind of hold those smaller miscellaneous items now we we're talking a little bit about this door what i want you to notice i want you to notice the framework between the window and the door and more importantly look at the top of the door it is squared at the top now a lot of the competition will have a rounded door at the top. That is a prefab door, it's lighter weight. Uh, Logan does offer a model called Crossfire. That's their entry level. And then Bullseye's a step up. They actually have the prefab doors on those Crossfire models. On the Bullseye's, I prefer heavy duty doors and windows. And the reason why is these are items we're gonna use every time we use this trailer. We're gonna open the stack door, we're gonna drop those windows. So we want them to be durable and hold up over time. So if they're square at the top, they're made at the factory. There's a lot heavier weight to the door itself. You literally can feel it when you grab this door versus a prefab door. Nice solid seal when it goes to shut. Those prefab doors, and not to say that circumstances can't happen where this door pops open, maybe you don't get it shut all the way, but on those prefab doors, you, I recommend to every customer you lock that door before you pull out of the driveway because there's a good chance the right bump will get it to pop open where we don't see that on these heavier duty doors like this one here. <clears throat> the white sheeting standard, we can do some different options. Um, you know, champagne, charcoal, silver, those are real popular options. If you go with a black sheeted trailer, uh, that is an upcharge. But if you go to those other trailers, it's, it's just standard like on the white itself. But we always start off with the white and then go from there welded hinges on these doors. And then same thing, we're looking at this. This is the drop window. So I'll show you when we get to the other side, but they're mirroring. So we've got the drop window with the jail bars that fold down and then the net. That can easily be removed. But just like on the tack door, framework around the drop window itself. Again, not a prefab. And then same when we get to the stall area, you know, again, the heavier duty door, but these are, this is a really good, from the standpoint of when you're loading and these straight loads with these dual doors on each side, you can actually lead your horses in, have this door open and step right off. As you notice, there was a door latch, but then we've got this butterfly latch that goes over it. This has to be open. You can't open it from the inside if this is actually across the door. And that's a great safety measure for going into the stall area, that's why it's there. But you can open these up, lead your horses in, hop right out, or when you go to unload, same thing, just drop to your back and hop in this way if you'd like. But that gives you a good idea on being able to hop in from both directions on this. Again, it's the same on each side. Then as you get to the back, they do a big bus window over the hip. You know, only half of that's gonna open, so the bigger window we can get there, the better for more airflow for the horses. And then there's the look at the aluminum wheels. Two 3,500 pound axles, rubber torsion. Those are also nitrogen filled tires. So if you have a low tire, you can put air to it, you're perfectly fine. But the nitrogen helps from the standpoint of PSI levels fluctuating drastically. Uh, you know, think of real cool mornings, real hot days, and then it cools off at night. We see that a lot in Colorado. And then uh, as you're driving, you know, tires can heat up. So it's really good to always check your tires. But the, the nitrogen filled 
will help those PSI levels from fluctuating drastically. And if you need to put nitrogen back to them, most tire distributors, you know, tire shops can actually do the nitrogen filled today. If you look up at the top rail, you're gonna notice a load light, the pedestal light. There's one on each side and then also the rear of this trailer. So you have some light coverage, just like in that front tack room we saw, you've got light up there, you've got lights in the stall area and you've got lights on the outside. <clears throat> on this one, you've got the dual 50-50 doors with the rear ramp. Now, you'll see a lot of times on warm blood type trailers like this, in these seven, six tall trailers like we're looking at, is you'll notice a ramp with Dutch doors above it. Well, that is the case, but because of the way they manufacture this model, they try to keep them consistent. So these rear doors are the same rear doors you'd see on their goosenecks or on their two and three horse slant load bumper poles. So they can build them the same and then they can put the ramp over the back doors. We can do that on our slant load trailers too. So again, they've done a real good job of thinking ahead saying, hey, let's keep the manufacturing process, you know, flowing and consistent that way that's how they build this model and that's why you see this the way it is. So you have your ramp coming in here. These are independent doors so we can't open one or the other. Now the right hand door that you guys are looking at on the passenger side does have a weather stripping on it that just kind of protects that little bit of an air gap uh, when you go ahead and shut these rear doors from that moisture getting in. But they shut and then the rear ramp goes over it. Then as you get into the stall area here what you're dealing with is from the partition wall to the back is about 127 inches and then from the chest strap to the uh, butt strap you're 89 inches so from that's kind of standard dimensions on a warm blood trailer um, we actually asked the manufacturers a while back well where did we come up with those dimensions and they just said well we're not really sure that's the way we've always done it i mean that's Somewhere down the line, uh, you know, somebody said, well, this is what we think it needs to be. And our guess is they probably added a little bit to it. I mean, there is a little bit of, of extra room in here if you need it. The other cool thing about this trailer is this is a great setup if maybe you have dual purposes for this trailer. Maybe you have some toys that you want to haul. It's very easy to remove this hardware right here on the center you know, divider and the post itself and the head grill and pull it all out. You have a rear ramp and a straight load right in here. So you've got that capability in here as well. But you've got the padded divider. You've got a solid head grill, solid divider in here. And then you've got your straps that go across. You also have two roof vents up at the front, two ways so we can manipulate that airflow. Uh, again, by having these bus windows, those drop windows, and then the, the side drop windows in here, you know, we can create a lot of airflow, keeping the horses nice and cool. The other thing I want you to notice is, I want you to notice that there is a bow to the roof. And that seems, might sound a little bit silly and, and you might think, well, well, what's the real purpose of that? And why is that so important? So again, when we go to against the competition where this trailer usually runs up against, they have a flat roof. And what happens is, is that moisture, snow, rain, whatever it is, can't really get off the roof of the trailer. So it sits there and it just, it eats away at those roof seals and you're gonna have to replace them and have it resealed probably more frequently and sooner. Now, not to say you're never gonna have to redo the roof seals on this trailer, you will. It's, it's part of it, it's part of maintenance. It's like bearings, it's like brakes, it's like tires. Things are gonna, you're gonna have to maintain this trailer, but it's gonna be a lot longer before you're gonna have to do it because again, that little bit of a bow is gonna force that moisture off the roof of this trailer. Pads on the, on the side walls as well. And then again, as you can see, there's that vortex lining. So again, they incorporate it throughout. Again, it's really strong and durable. I think it also deadens a lot of the noise in this stall area uh, when it comes to it. So again, nice setup there from a, from a warm blood size and straight load setup. Again, they didn't cut corners and really try to you know, cut down the length of it. They tried to keep it consistent from what we see out there. And then over here on driver's side, you know, there's that same door that we, that we opened up on the other side. It's got the same drop, the same jail bars, the same screen on it as well. Now, unfortunately, this trailer is sold, but 
We've got some other trailers on order. We can go in. If we're far enough out, we can take a lot of these bullseyes and change them. That's what this customer did. We actually had a three horse bumper pull on order and we took that slot. It was far enough you know, down the line that we could actually change it to the warm blood model. We didn't change models on them, uh, but we just went into a bullseye warm blood setup. So it was real easy to change. So you can give us a call and we can help you out. Again, we've got the two three horse slants, the three or four horse goosenecks, but we can do this and we can do this in a gooseneck as well. So maybe you're like, that's the setup I want, but I want, a, I want a gooseneck, we can help you out there. So I'm gonna give you the stock number on it. That way you can reference it if you are interested. That number is 5N220095. Again, a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye Warm Blood two horse bumper pull. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.